Good afternoon everyone. Uh, around here at the run I've just uh, moved the young stock and, and calf animals, bulls. Um, and I just thought I'd do a video about uh, the gibberellic acid that we spray on with our nitrogen. Here's a paddock that I just had a bit left over in and you can see up the top very faintly you can see some dock leaves standing up there and if you look here you can see they aren't standing up and as I pan round see how they're all standing up now in the video previous video when I was talking about it the dock leaves or what I was saying is everything will grow weeds and grass so if you see here all the dock leaves and flat weeds are all growing but in amongst there is grass and it's, you can see some rye grass just all the, all the everything's just standing on end all the grass whereas if I go up here so see all the dock leaves are flat grass isn't as tall so this here was sprayed what do you think Seven, about 11 days ago 11 days ago, so you can see it's grown from this to this in 11 days. So it's really quite amazing. It's it's sort of hard to um, show it on camera how well the grass is growing, but maybe I could do a test paddock and I could spray one half with gibberellic acid and not with the other half, and uh, then I could plate meter it show you how, what the difference in growth is so they recommend to graze it off within 21 days um, otherwise it's not worth it this is uh, obviously we're grazing young stock here so there's no dairy um, we're not milking off it so uh, the cows they'll be I don't know when they'll be back here actually can't tell off the top of my head but the grass goes a real light green like a growing state see if you Look here, all the grass is standing up, just stands straight up. Yeah, that's about all I can tell you. I can't, yeah, I can't show you anything. Well, what you see on the camera is what you get. You see what I mean? All the, the dock leaves are just standing straight up. And they turn to a lighter green colour. I've done paddocks across here. I've done that paddock there. You can see it is a, a lighter green. And then I've also done those paddocks. And you won't be able to see on the camera. But there's uh, you can see the wheel marks. And all the dock leaves standing up in it. Those paddocks there. They've all had just nitrogen. Because those ones there had the uh, annual rye grass in it. There, I'll just do a video to show you the response that you get from putting it on. You can't just rely on uh, gibberellic acid and nitrogen though to grow your grass. You do need to be applying good fertilizer because the gibberellic acid will use a lot of nutrients in the ground to uh, make the grass grow. Um, yeah, like I said on previous videos, spraying the nitrogen on, you get less leaching because it's landing straight on the leaf. It's going on at a lot lower rate. Uh, so you get less leaching into the ground and into the drains, pollution. So yeah, I think it's definitely, it's definitely worth it. And you do little, so you pretty much do little and a bit more often. So uh, with our dairy farm at home, We'll do the farm, I usually do it, some paddocks I'll do twice, the majority of them just get done once with uh, jib grow nitrogen. So really just got to get us through uh, August and September. So you can sort of see a light green tinge there and then a bit up there because when I come into the paddock I did a strip across the top and I turned it off and then I came right down the bottom because the wind is blowing that way. 
So if you work from the bottom up doing a zigzag, you don't get as much on you. That's what I've worked out. Because I don't have a cab, I sort of try and avoid it getting on me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Check out other videos, Family Farming and Fun. You can check us out on Facebook at Family Farming and Fun. And we'll see you another time. Thanks for watching. Bye.